Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we can keep this at um, the kind of gate the gate mode, keep it at the zero, zero mode, or we can select all four of these and we can change it to the secondary mode. But before we do that, let's go into all the different. Let's go into that redrum and over here we will choose this to be the sample or actually not yet this we're going to choose to be the pattern select and this knob over here will be the sample length so under the pattern select for rotary one we're going to do pattern select and since we only have seven patterns in or we have eight patterns we're going to do zero to seven so that's going to select our different patterns. And then for the sample length, we're going to choose four instances of rotary two. And we're going to have this affect your drum length for the four different drums. And that's going to be probably zero to Let's do 51, that's fine. You don't want it to go too long, otherwise it's going to get um, a little tricky. So now you just have to change these lengths, but before we do that, let's bring the sample length down a little. So you see the sample length is now reduced. And for these four, we're going to change it. So now this will control our sample length. This will be the pattern select. This will be the reverb on and off. And this we will do the LFO rate. And to change the LFO rate, what we have to do is we have to select the Thor. And we're going to have to do this to all four Thors. We're going to have to take rotary three to go into LFO two rate. this to be the LFO shape. To do that, we need to go rotary 4. It's going to be the LFO waveform. LFO 2 waveform. one and what we're going to do for button one we're going to have this be the delay so in order to turn the delay on what we will do is we will select for button one uh, the, let me see here. Yes. button one is going to be the return one return level and that's going to be So the delay's off or the delay's on. Same thing with the screams. Since we have the screams on right now, what we'll do is we will turn them off by clicking the damage off on both of them. Um, so scream three, this is going to be the damage. Select both screens. 
screams, and then for button two, we'll just turn the damage on and off. So that'll be on, that'll be off. actually going to depend on whether you have your mixer turned on or off. So you have to have your delay on in order for you to turn your damage on. So to get around that, what I will do is take the delays, and instead of putting the delay on here, I will take the mixer, I will select no target for that, and I will actually manually use the dry wet delay knobs. So on delays five, let's see, five and six, okay. I'm going to select button one. It's gonna be dry wet balance. This will have it down at about, I don't know, 50, 48, somewhere around there. This will be the dry wet balance. We'll keep this there. Delay seven. Delay eight. Okay, so now when it's played, delay is off, but damage is on. Damage is off, and delay is on. And that is how you build a nice little glitch box. So I hope you find this useful, and uh, thank you for watching. Again, I'm Rob at Reason101.net. Come over to my site if you want to see some more interesting tutorials, and lots more fun to come. Thanks a lot, and have a good night.